We're here with Assistant Captain Connor Palouche of the Telcasca Rhinos. Connor, after coming off the bye week, how are uh, you and the guys preparing for the upcoming games this weekend? Uh, we had uh, two good days of practice, and uh, going home for like some of the guys definitely recharged their batteries, and uh, pretty happy to be back and excited for the uh, upcoming weekend. So you're excited to play Traverse City, and uh, why don't you think uh, they played you guys last year? Um, uh, I think a lot of the like, returning guys were wondering the same thing. Uh, I guess we'll find out this weekend. Well, thank you. Best of luck to you this weekend. Thank you. We're here with Clayton Cleveland, number 25, defenseman for the Calcasca Rhinos. Clayton, uh, since returning from auto, you got here late this season. How has Coach rehabilitated you and helped you get back into the winning ways here? He's uh, given me everything I need. He's whatever I needed to rest when I was got too tired. He's let me do it. He's uh, got me back up to weight. I gained 25 pounds back to where I needed to be, and I feel uh, comfortable and ready to go. Well, after the bye week, uh, preparing for Traverse City this weekend, uh, what are you and your teammates prepared to do to, to have a successful weekend? We're prepared to do anything we need to do. Uh, get the puck deep, work hard, be the first on the puck, do anything we, and everything we can do to win this game and get, get away with two points. Thank you very much, Clayton, and uh, good luck this weekend. We're here with starting goalie Austin Hannaford, number one of the Kokaska Rhinos. Uh, Austin, since Friday's game is a huge rivalry against Traverse City, how are you preparing for the game? Any differently or the same? Uh, pretty much the same. Every game's its own atmosphere. Uh, different tactics need to go into each game. I need to prepare both mentally and physically. I think uh, throughout all the training over the weeks and the months, and just mentally, uh, I think that i uh, just got to play my game, have some confidence out there. So coming off the bye week, you feel refreshed, rejuvenated, ready to go for the rest of the season? Yeah, the bye week was great to have, especially at this point in time. The team's really come together over the past week, and I'm really looking forward to Friday and getting the W. Fantastic. Good luck to you, Austin. Have a good rest of the year. Thank you. We're here with defenseman forward, Sean Sherpa of the Cal Castro Rhinos. Since Friday's game is a huge rivalry game against Traverse City, are you preparing the same or any differently for Friday's game? Uh, definitely taking a couple extra steps during the whole week, making sure that I'm prepared. Uh, there's some things, you know, you want to make sure that you don't miss anything and that you try and do everything perfectly during practice. Sean, coming up on Friday's game with, against the Traverse City Hounds, uh, how is Coach Zoli will help prepare you guys up until this point coming off a of bye week and uh, playing this rivalry game? Um, he's definitely helped us with spreading his hockey knowledge. Um, you know, he's fed us well and everything's been pretty good on the ice and everything like that. It just helps you with tweaking the little things that you need to do on the ice and, you know, that really adds up in the end. Do you think the extra time uh, over the last several weeks in the quarter of the season, uh, in the gym, on and off the ice, uh, putting in the work, it has helped the team? Oh, yeah. Game's won before the game even starts. You know, you really got to put the work in during the beginning of the week and, you know, the rest is just the fun part. And how are you guys going about preparations this week for this big game? Anything different or everything remains the same? <sighs> Pretty much everything remains the same. Uh, definitely a different type of focus. You really have to be zoned in for the games. And it um, should be a good time. It's going to be a big game. Well, Sean, congratulations. Good luck. And uh, have a good uh, rest of the season. Thanks. We're here with number 63, Sean Sherpa, forward defenseman of the Calcasca Rhinos. T shirt! Seriously, Jake? We're here with Rhinos forward, Matt Kula. Matt, can you explain to me what back checking is? No. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe the uh, back checking? Since you're like the worst player in the league about. Uh, and, and, and back check right now. So what, what, how do you say? Uh, you know, I, I just skate as fast as I can back, you know? Yeah. <laughs> how is, uh, uh, can you explain what the slashing penalty is for? How, how is the slashing penalty? When you take the stick and you slap. You slash, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta go, ah, ah. And, uh, we're with Matt Kula, number 73 of the Calcasta Rhinos. Uh, Matt, what do you think about the extra time in the gym this week? Paying off for the team and you as well? It's paying off for me, I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everyone's got We're here with number 73, Matt Kula, forward of the Calcasta Rhinos. Matt, do you think the extra time has paid off in the gym for you and your team? I absolutely do. I'm done. <laughs>